Hello, these are the student instructions on how to connect your mobile phone to your proctor so you can take your PLTW end of course assessment. So what you're going to do is pull up your mobile phone. Um, if you have an iPhone, make sure that it's on Safari. If you have an Android, make sure that uh, you're using the browser that came with the phone. So for example, Samsung has Samsung Internet. If it's a Pixel, it's going to be Google. Um, so it's whatever browser came with the phone, if you remember that. So anyways, go to that. Also go to your settings. So if you're in Safari, if you're on the iPhone, go to settings, then go to Safari, and then find the settings for camera and make sure that your camera is allowed. So that will make sure that we connect when we go through the process. So what you're going to do is in your browser, you're going to go ahead and type in the site ssp.live. Okay, so ssp.live. Um, so it should page will pull up, should like this. You're obviously you're a student, so you're going to click on students. You're going to find your high school. You're going to click it. Now, we recommend that before the test the day before that you come in to test this. And so what you'll do is you'll go ahead and you know, fill out your name uh, and you'll click on checking my camera setup. Now, you'll do this the day before um, and then the day of the exam, you would actually click on taking the test. So we'll show you what the checking my camera setup looks like. You're going to click that. You're going to click your high school. You'll hit start chat and uh, someone on the other end is going to answer it and they're going to go ahead and provide you with instructions. Now, the instructions that they give you, it's going to provide you with a link. Now, this link is a practice link, so don't be alarmed if you go into it and there's another student there. Um, it's just a practice link. It's not the same link that you're going to use on the day of the exam. So what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and click on that link. It will pull up a page that looks similar to this. And you should go ahead and click on Start Video Chat. Now, this is really important. Make sure to allow your camera. If you don't allow your camera, you're not going to be able to connect with your proctor. Okay, so you're going to go ahead and hit Allow. This red button will terminate it. Now, this is really important as well. If you click on Start Video Chat and there comes up some error up here, then go back to the chat page and chat into the person that you got the information from and ask them. Let them know that you're having some trouble um, and they will help advise you on how to fix that. Again, do this the day before the test and if you do it the day before the test, you get it all resolved, you get that camera working. So once you get that camera working, the day of the test you come back, we'll give you a link very similar to this. You're going to click it, you'll connect up, it'll connect up with your proctor or your teacher, and you'll be off and running on the test. So really simple process to go through.